Devil Hunters, welcome back. Chainsaw Man Chapter 104 has begun to plant the seed for Denji's and Asa's romance to finally blossom. But before we talk about that, we need to talk about Denji's potential girlfriend, Yoru, upset at the fact that Chainsaw Man ended up saving her and Asa from the Bat Devil. In the beginning of the chapter, we see Asa ask Yoru, why does she hate Chainsaw Man so much? And as predicted, Yoru responds that in the past, the two of them have fought, but no matter how many times Chainsaw Man gets taken, down and killed he always gets back up and eventually the war devil lost because of it the war devil continues saying because of her defeat society hasn't experienced a single war since the world war and it's been replaced by video games and movies as a result people don't remember any war terrors and because they don't remember any wars period that means the war devil has grown weaker because remember everyone the stronger the devil's feared the more powerful they become but if no one doesn't remember what a war is then the war devil is going to cease to exist. That even horsemen will suffer the same consequence as every other devil if it isn't feared. Yoru's and Asa's conversation ends with Yoru asking the war devil if it's afraid of being forgotten with the war devil quickly falling asleep. Now although this was done for comedic purposes, I'm going to go out on a limp here and say yes, the war devil is simply afraid of being forgotten. Much like how Makima went about the wrong way of controlling everyone because she just wanted a family of her own, the war devil just wants to be acknowledged and loved too. We cut to Denji at school acting as a chair to a fellow female student because I don't know Denji has a kink or something where he then becomes interrupted by a fellow classmate telling him that a pretty tall boy is looking for him which then leads to us seeing Yoshida handing Denji over his school ID where he quote unquote accidentally dropped it with this fight against the cockroach devil. He actually did this on purpose so he can reveal his identity to the world which Denji responds so what of it. But this is where things get interesting because Yoshida Yoshida tells Denji if he tries to reveal his identity to the world, he will stop him by force, which is pretty ballsy for Yoshida to make a subtle threat like that, and now you can't help but wonder, are we going to see that actually come to fruition? The Octopus Devil versus Chainsaw Man, do you want to see that play out? Anyway, in more hilarious Chainsaw Man antics, Yoshida offers Denji money to sit on him as a chair and ask if he just wants to reveal his identity to the world because he wants a girlfriend. Denji says, of course. Yoshida says what's your type and then Deji responds one who is desperate for a girlfriend period <laughs> <laughs> which I feel like Fujimoto just called out all the weebs who never had a girlfriend before. But anyway, this is where we transition into Denji and Asa meeting for the first time and I absolutely love how we get their characters interacting very organically here. And the payoff, Fujimoto set up a couple of chapters when the war devil just blatantly asked Yoshida, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? And Yoshida's like, no. But now looking back at it, hmm, who is someone desperate for a boyfriend? Ding, ding, Ding. And honestly, this is a really nice touch. And Yoshida, now acting as a good wingman, introduces Denji to Asa. You're a big fan of Chainsaw Man? This guy, Denji, is also a big fan of Chainsaw Man. When Asa and Denji begin talking, Asa reveals that she, in actuality, used to hate Chainsaw Man, but now she feels neutral about him. But continues on into telling Denji that she is disgusted by Chainsaw Man's antics. She states that he's constantly covered in blood, sprouting a chainsaw out of his head makes him look like an idiot, saving only only women makes him horny and Denji has a response to defend Chainsaw Man at every point for obvious reasons and then proceeds to grill Denji some more because Chainsaw Man fanboys will always defend him no matter what and I also felt like that was another subtle jab Fushimoto is throwing us to Chainsaw Man look we gotta defend our boy Denji all right hashtag defend Denji in the comments down below anyway the best part was when Asa said Chainsaw Man eats people and begrudgingly Denji admits okay there was this one time Time, all right which further results into Denji getting so angry he said you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and say it and I was thinking no he isn't going to reveal his chainsaw man right here right this is the moment where Yoshida knocks him out this is where Yoshida covers his mouth restrain him whatever and we don't get that reveal and unexpectedly for myself Denji doesn't hold back and outright admits I am chainsaw man to Asa's face how's that for you Asa I know what chainsaw man is thinking because I am him 
him. Wow. Yoshida is like, oh no, this idiot. And Asta's face is even more hilarious to me because she has this cold resting face and it's like, loser, you are a loser and storms off with Denji like, oh man, what did I do with Yoshida responding? Denji, no one was going to believe you anyway. But I think a lot of people might be a little bit curious and just asking, hey, DJ Miles, why doesn't Denji, if he really wants to reveal to the world he's Chainsaw Man, just outright transform in front of people, make it a public announcement, and then go about his day? The answer's pretty simple, and it's also a little complicated. So let's start off with the obvious. I think as silly and goofy Denji is, he knows revealing himself to the world like that is actually going to cause problems. Keep in mind, I think he's just longing for a friendship, a family, and love, and of course, Naita's giving him that, but he also wants that rapport of a brother-sister relationship, a love interest, etc., and so forth. Now, the other burning question is, where is this romance going to go? And if we know that Denji ended up facing his love interest in part one with it being Makima, I think Fujimoto is going to set up the groundwork again where it's going to be Denji versus the War Devil as the final battle or one of the last final battles. And I think there's going to be an interesting twist in narrative thrown here. But no matter how you take it and no matter how you will theorize it, ultimately, at the end of the day, Denji is going to suffer some more. And because this is Fujimoto, Denji can't catch a break 